Subscriber alert, subscriber alert. Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated A for awesome. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and you're welcome. Enjoy. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the show. It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber. And no, that's not me. That's this box right here. All right, guys. So uh, I just want to thank you guys for joining me for my uh, 31 days of Halloween. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Van Helsing. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is from Diamond Select. If you're wondering what year this is from, it says 2014. So, yeah. 2014. Here's a little read-up. Vampires, werewolves, zombies, mutants. Uh, if you guys want to do a little read-up on Van Helsing, you can right there. Sculpted by Jean Saint-Jean. Seven-inch figure, and he looks great. Uh, he's been in the package since 2014, you know. but you know what that means. I gotta rip this guy open, bro. Let's take him out the box. Out of the package. And yeah, he pops out very easily. Look at that. And look at all these freaking twisty ties. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, let's jump forward to him already out of package. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, here is Mr. Van Helsing out of package, man. And yeah, he looks great. He still has a few twisty ties on him. Let me cut that off real quick. And then he has one twisty tie on his gun right here. Well, thank you for putting that there so it doesn't get lost. Uh, I don't think, I can't remember any toy company as of recently making a Van Helsing character, bro. Why they haven't, I have no idea. I mean, capitalize, capitalize toy companies instead of giving us the same old shit every day, every time, with every release, give us a different character in Van Helsing. Um, we definitely need the Van Helsing. And man, he is packing. Just look at all this stuff, bro. Wow, wow, and all his weapons go onto his back as well. That is nice. Bro, I can't tell you how nice this figure is. Then he has a gun. All these weapons are removable, by the way. We'll take a look at that in a moment, but let's take a look at Van Helsing. Actually, you know what? Before we take a look at Van Helsing, let's take a look at all of his accessories. So he does come with this half zombie chick right here that's going to be popping out the grave. Um, comes with a stand. Let me give you guys a close up right there. Man, oh man, wow. Man, Diamond Select killed it with this one, man. Oh yeah, and look at that. Her arms are articulated. That arm is, that arm is, wow. Wow, bro. Wow. And then she comes with, or he comes with this base, should I say, right there, which will put all his stuff on there in a moment. But man, oh man, oh man. And then there is the Tombstone Harker. I'm guessing this has to be her right here coming out of her own grave. And then it comes with this awesome, well-detailed, sculpted crucifix. Looking very nice, man. Wow. Let's put all these accessories together. So the Tombstone obviously goes into there. And that's very nice. The cross would go into this way. It just sits nicely in there. It's just kind of leaning over. I think that's how it's supposed to look. Yeah. Leaning over and then you have her popping out of the ground, out of her grave, like so. Wow, bro, look at that. That is dope as hell. That is freaking dope as hell, man. I love that. That is just awesome, bro. This right here is a 10 out of 10, man. 
And then you have a peg right there for Van Helsing to stand on her grave, posing <laughs> as this demon zombie vampire chick pops out the grave to try to grab him. We'll take a look at that. We'll put him on the stand in a moment, but we'll take a closer look at Van Helsing. And man, he looks amazing, bro. The detail is just done just amazingly, bro. Amazingly. Like, Diamond Select really, really killed it, man. I mean, not bad for 2014. I'm going to show you guys all the amazing detail on it. Wow. Wow. Very nice. Let's take a look at all of his weapons, and then we'll take a look at his articulation, and then, like I said, we'll do the measurements, and then we'll do some comparisons. You know, you know the gist of it. So, his weapon, his gun, comes out the holster like so. And look at that. Look at the detail on that gun. Wow. That is nice. And then he comes with more weapons. He comes with this blade right here, this axe, which is done magnificently. It's got blood right there. Look at that. There's the handle. And then he comes with this awesome gun right here. <laughs> this is old school right here man this is look at the detail on it man silver the gold wow and these are sturdy too these are not plastic these are like a hard hard plastic that says plastic they're not rubber that's what i meant to say they're like a hard plastic and then he comes with this sword right here which looks amazing yeah, this is a blendable, bendable, pl pl pliable plastic, if that makes any sense. Weapons look amazing. Let's check out the articulation. So this right here, the wooden spears, is glued to his chest. Kind of weird how they did that. It's kind of stupid. It's not, it should be laying on his chest, but it's like hanging, protruding from his chest. So that's kind of dumb, but it looks great. Uh, head movement, it's on a single ball joint. At least this chin is not hitting it, I guess. The face is just done nicely. Look at that, man. He's missing one eye right there. The hair is done nicely. There's the backpack. Or the back for his stuff. The pouches look great. Even the belt buckle. Look at the paint, man. The paint. I'm, I'm going to tell you guys, the paint goes a long way, man. Some of these new figs, they need to take... They need to take note, bro, because we don't get this kind of detail on these figures anymore. Breaks at the upper thighs. Of course, he has this right here. It's hindered by his design right here, so he can't get that leg to go out that much, but he can move that leg out. He does have breaks right there. Obviously, you can see that. Um, knees, no double jointed knees. They just kind of bend, which probably he just kind of stands like that on her grave. My guess. Uh, waist swivel. And then he does have bend at the knees and yeah, a little bit of uh, articulation movement bend right there at the ankles. Really nicely done figure, man. Really nicely done. Really great looking figure. Let's do some measurements. We'll do some comparisons. So Van Helsing stands at... Uh, okay, he stands at seven and three fourths tall. That's just a little under eight inches tall. So, not really seven inches. More closer to eight than seven inches. So, let's see. One of the last figs I reviewed of Man Bat. If you guys want to see that, check it out. My modification of Man Bat. Look at that. Who wins, Van Helsing or Man Bat? <laughs> oh, that's a tough one. Uh, I would. You know what? I'd probably say Van Helsing. Well, that's how he measures up with man bat, my custom modifi modificated winged man bat. How about with another monster? How about here he is with Sabretooth. Diamond Select, another Diamond Select toy. So yeah, he's big. He's a big guy. He's like the size. Actually, he's bigger than Sabretooth. So yeah, he falls into the seven inch mark. How about, let's see, you go hunting for rhinos? So that's how he measures up with Marvel Legends Rhino. So he's a big guy, big, big guy. How about Batman? Seven inch McFarlane figure, Batman. Yeah, he's bigger than Batman. 
How about my custom uh, Vampire Knight Batman? You're dead meat, buddy. You're dead meat. <laughs> all right, guys. Let's uh, let's put all his weapons back in there. Let's put some weapons in his hand. Let's pose him on the base and see how he looks. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So you know, I've reviewed a lot of cool things on my channel before, man. A lot of cool retro stuff before, but I have to say, this by far is one of the coolest things, one of the coolest figures I've ever reviewed ever, ever, bro. This guy is freaking dope. I mean, if you were to re-release this guy today, he would still look amazing. They did an amazing job. Diamond selected an amazing job. Why this figure is not spoken about more, I have no idea, but they did an amazing job. Let's go in close for the detail. So yeah, everything looks great, man. The axe is a little bit too small. Everything about this figure is just done amazingly, bro. Really done nicely. So I'm going to give you my rating on this guy. Uh, Van Helsing Diamond Select Toys did an amazing job. Um, I only have one gripe, and the one gripe is just these wooden spears right here. They just kind of stick out, and they're kind of protruding off of his chest. It'd be nice if they were, like, laying down on his chest. So that's my only gripe. I'm going to be very, very generous, guys. And I'm going to give him... I'll give him, like, a 9.8 out of 10. And I'm just deducting a few points because of that right there. But overall, you know, and a few paint blemishes here and there. But overall, this guy is a straight masterpiece, man. Everything about this guy is done nicely. The paint apps, the head sculpt... Of course, it's an older figure, so articulation is not that great. But then again, I don't think you really need that much articulation with a Van Helsing character. Uh, this right here, this is amazing. Her popping out the grave, the tombstone, the detail, everything about this figure, this base, everything, the weapons... Um, and also, I deducted a point, too, because the axe is a little bit too small, but it does look great. It's a nicely done great figure. It's a, by far probably a very, very perfect figure. Almost perfect figure, bro. Um, I feel like the head is a little bit too big, but overall, um, it's done nicely, bro. Very nicely done action figure 9.8 if you can find this guy in stores i would highly recommend it as a collector if you guys collect horror stuff then this is definitely for you all right guys i just want to leave it at that i just want to thank you guys for watching in i'll catch you in the next review peace out